When that snow starts to fall tomorrow, it's going to make it the sixth latest snowstorm on record. You can see the chart here with the latest snow being recorded to fall here in the Mile High City right there. It was back in June. 1951. We're not far from that. Now this moisture, there's some good news. It will also have a major impact on reducing the high fire danger. Fox 31's Vicente Arenas is on it live this afternoon out in Idaho Springs. And Vicente, what are firefighters telling you this afternoon? Uh, this moisture coming this way, Talia, is all the talk in Idaho Springs. Fire department's talking about it. The people who live in this town are talking about it. They are so thankful this moisture is coming this way. Along with it, a lot of wind. Let me show you some of the video that we shot earlier today. It certainly has been gusting here. Uh, you mix in this wind with any small fire and there could be real problems. Our pinpoint weather meteorologists have been telling us there have been a record 28 red flag days this year. A record making matters worse is that we've had relatively low moisture. Now here in Idaho Springs, anywhere from two to two and a half feet of snow could fall. Places like Nederland and Estes Park could get a lot more. Our Chris Tomer says this could really keep fire danger low uh, for some time in June. We also talked with engine boss Eric Abramson at the Netherland Fire Protection District. He says snow in the forecast is good, at least for now. When we have snow on the ground, we don't worry about that as much, right? Because the fire can't really spread. The bad news is one storm doesn't really change our long-term drought conditions. All that moisture is great for the water table, you know, for our water supply and our reservoirs and all that is excellent. But it really doesn't contribute when you have a long-term drought. So after the snow moves on, we just keep watching and waiting. It's kind of like feast or famine. It's been dry for so long. And then all of a sudden, you just have this big wallop of moisture coming through. Then it gets dry again. Now here in Idaho Springs, they have been preparing. They've done a couple of things to get the city ready. A city that's used to snow, even this is having them doing things a little bit differently, at least for starting tomorrow. Reporting live from Idaho Springs, Vicente Adenas, Fox 31.